Rob Walton is an American businessman and the eldest son of Walmart founder Sam Walton. He served as the chairman of Walmart from 1992 to 2015, and during his tenure, the company became the largest retailer in the world. One short story about Rob Walton that highlights his leadership style and business acumen is his role in expanding Walmart's presence in China. In the late 1990s, Rob Walton recognized the potential of the Chinese market and began exploring ways to enter the country. However, he faced numerous obstacles, including cultural differences, government regulations, and competition from local retailers. Despite these challenges, Rob Walton persisted and eventually succeeded in establishing Walmart's presence in China. He recognized that the key to success in the Chinese market was to adapt Walmart's business model to fit the local culture and preferences. For example, he introduced new product lines that were popular in China, such as live seafood and fresh produce. Under Rob Walton's leadership, Walmart became one of the largest retailers in China, with over 400 stores and a significant market share. His success in China is a testament to his strategic vision and ability to adapt to new markets and cultures. Overall, Rob Walton's legacy at Walmart is one of growth, innovation, and leadership. He played a key role in expanding Walmart's business into new markets, such as China, and helped transform the company into the global powerhouse it is today. Rob Walton is the eldest son of Walmart founder Sam Walton. Walton took over as chairman upon his father's death in 1992. He retired as chairman in June 2015 and was replaced by his son-in-law, Greg Penner. Penner still sits on Walmart's board. He and other heirs of Sam Walton collectively own about half of Walmart's stock. In June 2022, a group led by Walton agreed to buy the NFL's Denver Broncos for $4.70 billion a record for a sports franchise. The key lesson that can be learned from Rob Walton's story is the importance of strategic vision, adaptability, and persistence in achieving success in business. He recognized the potential of the Chinese market, but also understood that Walmart's traditional business model might not be successful in that market. Instead of giving up or trying to impose the same strategies that worked in other markets, he was willing to adapt and innovate to fit the local culture and preferences. This required persistence and perseverance in overcoming cultural barriers and navigating complex government regulations. Ultimately, his strategic vision, adaptability, and persistence led to Walmart's success in China and demonstrates the importance of these qualities for any leader or entrepreneur seeking to succeed in a new market or industry.